What's up, family? It's your boy Bo, and you tuned into another episode of Bo Too Dope. And today, I wanted to talk about why you should give advice, even if they don't take it in consideration. And I'm about to go into that in just a second. I don't know why. What it do, family? <clears throat> Tuned in to another episode, and today the topic is why should you give advice even if they don't take it in consideration? Y'all have to excuse my hand, they're a little rusty because I just put them in some water. But my opinion is, and this is only if somebody come to you and asks for your opinion, your advice. Um, I think you should give it because no candle loses its flame by lighting another and just because you and then and basically what that is saying is, is that just because you give you know give advice doesn't necessarily take anything away from you you're just being helpful in a way and but i know how it is you know sometimes you get people you tell them something look i think you should do this i think you should go this way whatever and they still go left and you be like why the hell did you come and ask me if you're gonna still do the same thing? I know that's crazy, but people do that all the time. Um, it was a friend of mine kind of me and asked me uh, for some advice about a relationship. And they uh, stuck on somebody and they can't get over them and all this good old stuff right here. And I, I, I shared my advice because I've been through it, you know. I've learned how to, you know, love myself. I learned how to get over people, you know. Uh, and I learned that there is nobody more important than myself. So, yeah, I I, I shared my, my, my opinion and, and gave some advice. Well, you know, after we had that talk and, and they went on about their business, they still turned around and, and back to the same person. I said all that to say this. People are going to do whatever they want to do regardless, whether you give them advice or not. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't give advice, but you don't have to. Don't ever feel like you're obligated to give nobody no advice. But it's all, it always feels good to know you can make somebody feel better in that moment. They might not make the right decision in the end, but knowing that you made them feel good in that moment, then, you know, that's always a rewarding feeling. You feel me? Uh, I don't necessarily take advice from people unless it's something I've never been through before. But if it's something that I've been through before, I I pretty much know how to weather the storm, you know. But sometimes people just need to talk and, and get stuff off their mind because some people don't do good holding stuff in. You know, I've been there too. But the thing about that is, is that, you know, my mama always said, you was born by yourself, and you gonna die by yourself. When we was little, man, me and my brothers and sisters were little, she crammed that stuff into our head. She crammed it. You born by yourself, you gonna die by yourself. But don't never be scared to go through things on your own. Because at the end of the day, you are all you have. And, you know, I took that in consideration. And I lived that life every day. I am a real loner. And I'm not saying that it's good or bad, but it's good for certain people. You know what I'm saying? For certain people, it's good. Like, for me, it's good. I, I like being a loner because if I'm out with people, if I'm around people, I'm always in the middle of something. Not because I put myself in the middle of something, but me being around those people put me in the middle of it. You know? And I'm not going to get in the middle of anything if I didn't purposely put myself in that position so you know uh, I think it's important that people learn how to go through things on their own because that's the only way that you're going you're going you know get out of that, that situation because you can people can tell you something all day it don't mean you're going to follow what they say or take or take heed to their advice you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, but that's just how it is. And that's why I stay out the way, you know. But if somebody asks me for some advice, I'll share. But I'm never going to be like, oh, yeah, people going to listen to me. But people come and talk to me all the time because they feel like, you know, I'm easy to talk to. My answer to, to the topic 
should you give out advice even if they don't take heed or listen to it is yeah you know if you want to you don't have to but i think if if that person is looking for a, a, a shoulder to lean on you should be there especially if that person is your friend or something you know you should be there you know hell i mean i'm, I'm the type of person i talk to a stranger if they ask for my opinion on something because you know everybody needs a shoulder to lean on but everybody ain't got a shoulder so you know i'm always up to being that shoulder somebody can lean on because uh you know i never know when i may need somebody because i ain't bulletproof i ain't immune to the hardships and, and letdowns of life i'm not immune to it just like nobody else is but i'm a little more headstrong than a lot of people that i know you know, I go through so many things and I don't tell people about it because I feel like, you know, I got, at the end of the day, I got to deal with it myself. But you know, sometimes you need help and you got to open your mouth. Now, if it ever get to that point for me, yeah, I'll open my mouth and I'll say something. But for the most part, I'm pretty responsible and I can hold my own. Like during this COVID-19 thing, you know, I, I'm out of a job, but you know, before I was out of a job, I saved up some cash so you know i'm still able to hold my head a little bit but you know and, and don't and, and don't get me wrong i still worry but i don't worry to the point where i'm stressing myself out i never do that you know because i can always make a way out of no way you know, i always have done it and i I'm, I'm going to continue to do it but uh yeah for the most part though i think you should always lend a helping hand you know any way that you can. So if somebody asks for your advice, you know, give it to them. It ain't hurting nothing, you know. I mean, unless you're just a low down person and just feel like, oh, I, you know, I ain't gonna tell you nothing because you're gonna go off and do your own thing anyway. That's true, but you don't have to, uh, you don't have to put that same energy back out because, you know, the energy that you put out, you get it back. So, yeah, nah, I'm not gonna be mean to somebody just because they make ignorant decisions in their life. Like, I ain't never made no ignorant decisions. How do you think I'm able to give advice? Because I've actually, that person know I've actually probably been through this before and I've overcame it, you know? So sometimes we gotta think small, man. And we gotta be open-minded and we gotta have open arms. I ain't saying open your arms to everybody, but, you know, to people that you know may need it, you know? Open your, open, open your, open your hand, open your arms up. It's, it's not hard to be a helping hand, you know. And in, this, in these times right here, man, everybody need a helping hand, man. Right? Some people that don't like sitting in the house, some people can't sit in the house. Me, this COVID-19 thing, ain't nothing really changed for me besides me going to work and making money. I just sit in the house all day and not bother nobody because I have hobbies. I do things, I read, I write, you know, and all these different other things. I do music and all these different things. but. You got people that don't do nothing but go out. And going out helps them cope with a lot of things. And sitting in the house because they scared that they might catch a virus, man, it's hard on them. Like right now, man, I'm sitting in this in this uh, little uh, chill area in my uh, apartment. And ain't nobody outside, it's just me. And, you know, I'm enjoying it. Because <laughs> I'm a loner. You know, but you know, uh, lend, lend a helping hand, man. Be nice. You know, it take, it goes a long way, man. And it adds years to your life too. I believe. You know, being nice to people. And just because you, you don't, you don't have to be nice to everybody. But then you don't have to be mean either. You can just not say nothing to people. You know, you don't have to say nothing. If I see somebody doing some ignorant stuff and and, and, and they coming off as ignorant, I'm, I'm going to ignore them. Leave him alone, but no candle loses its flame by lighting another. And with that being said, I always give advice to people. I don't have much else to say on that, but you know, that's what I wanted to say, man. I always, I want people to stay, I want y'all to stay a giving people. And hopefully, once this COVID 19 isolation thing, uh, social distancing thing is over with, we can come out with a different outlook on life and um, turn a new leaf. That's what I'm hoping. We don't really know what the outcome is gonna be, but uh, just, just, hey, stay prayed up, meditate, 
do something constructive with this time. You know, spend time with your children. You know, get active, exercise, you know. And, 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 and most importantly, man, stay positive. Stay positive. Like I said, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. This is your boy Bo, signing out. And you know what I always say. Stay up, stay down. Most importantly, stay real. I'm out. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.